Okay, somebody asked me, what do I, uh, how do I get these things? I come to the store and I catch them myself. Okay, you guys, and here I am. I'm catching my own blue crab. I'm catching them myself. Y'all see, if, if they don't move, you don't want that one because he dead. You don't know how long he's been dead. He's not moving. He ain't, if they not fighting back, you don't want them. He's like this one. It's grabbing on the people. He ain't moving that much either. These ones don't seem like they've been, uh, like they want to come home with me. And these are all females. They don't really have males at this store ever that I come to. But I came over here to catch my own blue crab. That's a big one, but she's only moving a little bit. So I really know what's going on here. I got some in this bag and some play dead. This one in this corner keeps eyeballing me. She don't want me to get her, but... Because she's so resistant. You see how she moved it? That's one you want. You want one that's kicking like that. So I caught up. Hello everyone and welcome back to Shell Eats. On today I will be doing some blue crab. I was asked by a subscriber to show them how I clean my blue crab. So I am going to show you guys how I do it. So let's get into it. And now you guys are not going to see my face anymore. Now you guys are going to just see my hands and I'll be talking to you guys from here on out. I'm not looking at the camera. I don't know where I'm looking at, but y'all know what I mean. Okay, so here are my blue crab. They are in a bag. I put them in a the freezer just to make them sleep a little bit. They're alive. They are trying to play dead, but they really, they not as dead as they look. They're not as dead as they, they, they try to play. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy tongs to take them out of here. They like to spit at you and everything. See, they, they, they sit here like they're not alive, but it's, sometimes it's, it's alive. So what I do is I set them here, them there, and as soon as I start messing with his bottom, or her bottom, this little tab back here that you have to pull off. Actually, these are pretty sweet. Normally, they would be moving by now, and she's not moving. So we will see how this goes. But yeah, I just take this shell off the top. I pull it off. You guys see that? I pull that off and then you have all that gooky and gooky, sticky stuff in the inside. I'm going to take all these off. These little, these are their um, uh, lungs, I believe. I was told that that's the lungs. Yeah, so these are pretty sleek. And then I take this face off. I just rip it off. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Hopefully you were. And then this back part. I didn't show you guys. I took the back part off. But I take that back part off and you pull that off. And then I take a spoon and I scrape all that out because I'm not eating any of that stuff that's in there. I know a lot of people like to eat that, but not on this channel. So I scrape all that stuff out, the, which is called, I guess, the roll or something like that. It's, it's eggs. The babies or something. I don't want to eat nobody's kids. <laughs> so we're going to get them to the uh, we're going to let them go back into the ocean through this water. Maybe that makes them more um, crap. Yeah, so this black stuff, I don't I don't know what that is, but this little I take that off too because I don't know what that is. I'm not eating. But yeah, that's about all that I do. I'll do another one for you guys so you guys can see. I'm not sure if you guys really got the gist of what uh, I was saying, but I try to wash them off really good because sometimes they're dirty. The place that I go to, it seems like they're dirty a lot. So I try to get them as clean as I possibly can. I try my best because, you know, I'm biting these shells. I'm putting them in my mouth. So I got to make sure they're clean. So let's yeah so that's one i'll put that there i need to turn on my water my boiling water that i'm going to boil them in so i'll do another one of these guys i never stick my hand in this bag just my hand i always use my tongue because sometimes they're not dead they try to play like they did but i froze them pretty good so they're not alive but when i was saying how you take the 
we take this little back piece off. See, he's starting to move. She's starting to move a little bit, but this back piece, you're going to take that off. You peel that off. It's kind of hard. I don't got no muscles. But yeah, you rip that piece off. And then you just pull the shell off. I used to do them alive when they were live. I used to bring them home, but then I watched the video and I saw how they uh, they were putting them in the freezer or some ice to just make them go to sleep because you don't want them dead because they they're not they're not good if they're dead. So I always want them uh, a little fresher than. So yeah, I'm this stuff here. I'm cleaning out. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys the gills or the lungs or whatever you want to call them. Pull those off. You, I, I heard people say you can't. I mean, they're not supposed to be eaten. I wouldn't want to eat them either, anyway. But yeah, I take them out. I know that some people just um, boil their their blue crab just whole. I don't do that because I'm not fooling around with this stuff. I don't want to see any of that stuff in mine when I eat it. So I take my spoon like this, and I just scrape it all out. I scrape all of that out. Somebody told me that I was wasting a lot of water for one crab. Yeah, I'm wasting a lot of water. But it's all right. When they uh, decide to pay my bills, then I'll turn the water off. But until then, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. At mi casa. So yeah, I just try to scrape all that stuff out because I do not want to eat it. And I go and I wash them off, wash the legs and things off because I'm going to be chewing on those and that's going in my mouth. So I don't want to eat that. So yeah, that's, that's about all of how I do it. I'll probably come back to you guys and show you guys how I cook them. I mean, it, it's really not rocket science, so, but I just put a little... Um, uh, Creole seasoning in my boiling water and then I put them in there. I know a lot of people do it with like beer and stuff like that But I tried to put beer and I didn't like the flavor So I just do it with the Creole seasoning and then I also use you know after once I eat them I eat them with a sauce So that brings the flavor one day I'm gonna fry these and I'm gonna show you guys how they come out fried as well And you can eat them like that. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later Maybe I'll come back and show you how I cook them. Bye Okay, you guys, I came back with my little blues that are nice and clean and nice and clean out. And now we're going to take them over here and put them in this water. Well, the water's not boiling, so I guess I'll wait. But that's my water that I, I use. And I just put a little seasoning in it and I wait till it comes to a boil. Then I'll throw these little jokers in there. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I boil them for like, I boil them for like, uh, I want to say probably like 10 minutes I boil them and then sometimes I think I probably boil mine over the time that they're supposed to be boiled because I'm the type of person that I wanted to be dead three times before I eat it like shrimp <laughs> I um I know that people cook shrimp and they cook it for like they say like do two minutes on one side two minutes on the other side that's not me I need it to be uh I need it to be dead thrice over so I, uh, I try my best to cook it longer, which I know that you're not supposed to, but that's just me. I don't want to eat, get a hold of anything that doesn't taste right for my taste buds or my uh, gross meter because I will get grossed out if I bite into one of those and I get some, I, I don't, some gelatinous type of stuff that's, yeah, I don't want to eat that, period. So yeah, we're gonna wait for my water to come to a boil and then I will come back and show you guys what I do when I put them in the water. I'm probably not gonna show you the finished product. You'll see the finished product when I eat them on video. All right, so I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so my water has come to a boil. Now I am going to drop my little blue friends in that boiling water. Oh, let's turn off the water. Oh, that was annoying, sorry about that noise. But yeah, so now my water's boiling. We're going to come over here and get Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue, Blue, he's going in the pot. 
that's one I have four of them so I'm gonna just put four of them in there I just want to show you guys what I do to when I put them in there I don't know what I'm doing with this camera but and my other two put those in there and I let them cook for about 10 minutes and I don't cover them up or anything I just let them cook like that and then I will come back and eat those little jokers yes I will all right so I'll talk to you guys later so until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with every anybody that you know and give it a big old like I already said that huh yeah sometimes I just I think I don't know. I'm getting old. But yeah, so until next time, I will see you guys on another video. Thank you and bye-bye. Love ya.